So the brief uh, history uh, of the project is brief, the, the brief scope is that uh, it was related to the network modernization project and it included the CS core part, uh, which included the swap of the uh, existing MSCs, uh, ADCA MSCs with the legacy CPC MSCs and the media gateways. Plus, it also included um, uh, MSC pool reconstruction for disaster tolerance solution uh, for the network-wide uh, uh, net uh, network wide um, uh, swap okay and plus it was it had also the fixed uh, business also and uh, we had to swap the end of service equipment uh, for the engine part as well so it was multifaceted project uh, which has you know a lot of uh, importance for the customer as well and the history of Huawei in Pakistan is it has been a leading vendor in, uh, since 2013 uh, since we got to mobiling mega 2013 project uh, after winning to the, uh, with NSN and Ericsson. So uh, it was also signifi significant for us in that part as well. <coughs> so the major uh, milestones for the core projects uh, we have, uh, uh, we uh, undertake engineering survey, network design, shipment uh, equipment, and then uh, installation, and then commissioning and uh, database definition. Uh, integration and launch and uh, then we get the PAC. So major targets we have uh, in core projects are PAC and the FAC uh, finally. So these are the sites we had to do, we had to deploy. Uh, you can see that um, we had new deployments, we had expansions, we had pool reconstruction and we had uh, uh, engine swap as well. So it was, you know, uh, uh, different domains and uh, different uh, kinds of uh, work they were. So there were major risks involved in that. Uh, first of all, availability of the power requirements on the side because it was related to the customer, but we had to ensure that uh, it must not delay, delay our project. So this risk was highlighted and uh, we uh, took this with the customer and uh, we uh, supported them and uh, whatever they required, we uh, also uh, provided the breakers and. Uh, uh, other things and uh, we fully fully um, supported them in the planning as well and uh, next you know mm, uh, he, uh, there there was um, uh, one risk that locations would not finalize before uh, the equipment so what we did that uh, in core sites we uh, had the recent uh, service using the i survey tool and uh, we used the, that that data and uh, uh, that you know supplemented our uh, planning for the um, equipment transportation then uh, for the engine part we had the resource limitation and uh, mm, uh, uh, we uh, managed the uh, HRO and subcon trainings before uh, we carry out the project and uh, mm, uh, the, for the billing part uh, as we were swapping the old equipment of NGN so there was CDR's issue so uh, we took the CDR issue with customer uh, before and uh, with their mediation team, with the billing team, and we developed CDR engine quite before uh, the hardware installation. So it also, you know, helped us uh, in saving time. Earlier in, uh, uh, earlier in uh, and the uh, risk identified based on customer requirements. And uh, what have you do in the earlier in well, and uh, what have you uh, risk uh, identified it. Uh, yeah, the risk, you know, I have already identified and I have mentioned the risk here as well that uh, during, you know, uh, uh, your analysis phase, which is actually the DRB, uh, analysis and planning phase, which is DRB, okay? Yes. So during DRB, we actually uh, highlighted all the risk, which I have already mentioned that, you know, locations were not finalized, uh, power requirements were not there and uh, resource limitations were there, okay? So these were all highlighted and I was uh, totally involved and I actually urged my uh, supervisor that I must be involved because I have got uh, recent training uh, in the PRP, so I must go through all the process, okay? So this is what, you know, I did uh, in the early involvement. Okay. Uh, how to co um, col um, collaboration, co uh, how to collaborate with our customer and other